Hey guys, this is Lady Kayla and I have a book review today. So today I will be reviewing Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Outlaw of Torn. And you can tell it's a very old book and if you don't recognize the name Edgar Rice Burroughs, he's the man who wrote Tarzan. So that's him. Anyways, my personal opinion on The Outlaw of Torn is that I loved it from start to finish. It was fantastic. And if you like those classic tales like the Knights of the Round Table, like the Camelot and Robin Hood, you will definitely love The Outlaw of Torn. So basically, The Outlaw of Torn is this outlaw who grew up to hate all Englishmen. So he, he built up this little army of other outlaws and he basically takes over castles and, you know, the greedy men who, you know, like, I don't know, just hoard their money and stuff, and he just, like, ta like, takes them out, you know, when he kills someone, he leaves his initials on their forehead, and so that's what he does, he just, like, pillages, um, but only against, like, the barons of England, he leaves the women alone, which is pretty awesome, um, it'd be kind of sick if he didn't, and, he has some sort of honor, even for this outlaw. And you find out he has like this secret background. In fact, you're, tell, you're told about his background in the very beginning. So the only one who doesn't know basically is him, the outlaw. And he goes by Norman. And so he, ha he, he has like many identities. There's one where he goes out and, you know, for the woman he loves, he becomes someone else because he can't be known as the outlaw of Torn. Everybody wants his head on a plat platter. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it, it does end on a happy note. And it's um, basically, you know, you're happily ever after, but it's all classic. So you're expecting that. And it's really fantastic because it's not like your Disney version. It's kind of a, like a darker Disney version, I guess you could say. So it was really nice to see. And even though you're told everything you need to know in the beginning, I don't want to tell you because it will kind of ruin it for you. But it's pretty fantastic and I really think you guys should check it out. And it was pretty great, like I said, because I like how he's not like the good knight and he actually has like a dark lifestyle. And so that was really interesting because it still has those classic elements like of like, you know, knights and, you know, the romance and the romantic elements, but it's dark too. So I thought that was pretty interesting to see something dark from with like mixed with these classical elements. It's really fantastic. So I really rate it a 10 out of 10 because I loved it. And the only thing that you might find fault is that the dialogue is with like these and thous and so it's like if you don't like that like if you can't handle Shakespearean um, then I guess you wouldn't really like this or you wouldn't be able to follow up with it but it's only the dialogue it's not the narration and it is kind of like an advanced read I guess you can say because there's a lot of big words and the way it's written is kind of strange or not familiar especially if you read the more modern fantasy and other than that I fell in love with it because the class, the story was so good and I've never ever read a book that flowed this smoothly because in a book you need the introduction and you need the build up and you need the plot and you need the conflict and you need the conclusion and it like it balanced out everything like all of those elements were done excellent, excellently because it just was so great. It had everything, including the subplots. Like, the subplots were fantastic as well, and as well as the main conflict. So it was just great. You get a great introduction. It's a little strange, like, especially when you first start reading it and then it makes sense, but, um, just everything. Everything was great. It like flowed so smooth and it took a while to get to the end. Like with the subplots and with the, uh, you know, the him trying to figure out his um, 
background or other people trying to find out his background for him and some people trying to get him not to know his background so it took a while to get to the end which I love because it, like it dragged it out it wasn't just okay here's the problem and then it was solved the next instant I hate when books do that they give you a problem and then they give you a solution like a second later so this it takes like him a whole lifetime to figure out the solution as well as the sub conflicts which also got solved after a matter of time I didn't like it was just great how he did that so Outlaw Torn really great book the only thing I didn't really like is he didn't get into detail about the duels and battles he basically just says oh the outlaw's swordsmanship is so great or the people around will know how great his swordsmanship is but it won't get into detail about the actual battle you just hear that a lot of Torn's swordsmanship is fantastic so not really many details but I'm not gonna let that interfere with my opinion because that's basically like returning your french fries because you found one burnt fry in them so I still give it a 10 out of 10 because it was that great and I'm used to reading like these giant books that like take like about 10 books to get to the ending but this was perfect it was like 250 pages and everything you needed to know everything to make a fantastic story happened in these 250 pages and then it ends and it was great so if you're just looking for like a like just a quick read or like a nice easy read without getting to an epic fantasy that has like five books in it or more then this is definitely your book and I definitely recommend it and if you're a little bit skeptical about the way it's written because like I said the dialogue does talk does sound strange with the withers and the you know thou's and um, just pick it up I'm sure you can find it in a library because it's kind of old and Edgar Rice Burroughs is kind of a classic name so just look at it, see if you can read the dialogue, and if you can, definitely check it out because I definitely recommend this, and I'm sure you can find it in your, like, nearby library. Um, I would own it, personally. I would definitely buy it. So check this out. I really loved Edgar Rice Burroughs, and it's definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I cannot stress how much I love this book because beside the fact that it was a great story, it was just perfect how it flowed and I just I've never read a book that flowed like this and so very interesting so this is Edgar Rice Burroughs the Outlaw of Torn I definitely recommend checking out it was fantastic I loved it I hope you check it out and tell me what you think or if you read it already because it is pretty classic tell me what you thought because I really loved it and I don't know if I'm like over like praising it but that's just me. So thank you, this is Lady Kayla saying goodbye.